Today we're going to look at improvised weapon training. It's a well-known fact that weaponry negates strength. So particularly if you're a smaller, weaker person, a weapon will give you a chance to even the odds. But only if you are proficient at using it. So that means you need to put in the time so you're skilled and adaptable enough for all potential circumstances. In this instance, I'm going to be using a short baseball bat, like this. So not typically seen as a weapon, but with a bit of training, it most certainly can become one. If you don't have one of those, you can just use a short stick or a bottle. A metal water bottle like this is ideal. Anyth anything that uh, has a bit of weight to it uh, is hard, so that when we throw the techniques, we can hit much harder than we would be able to with our fists without the concern of damaging the hands. We're going to cover two drills that incorporate both modern and traditional movements into two very practical fighting combinations. As always, train them slow initially, be precise, and once you've learnt the combos, then practice them at full speed with power. Okay, first drill. Hold the baseball bat in your right hand. We're going to be in a orthodox stance, so left leg in front, right leg behind, hands up. First movement, I do a right thrust midsection. Yeah, so just simply thrust the bat out and hit straight in. Right thrust. Use your waist a bit, drive it in. Second movement, so I go in thrust one. From there, I'm going to do a, a switch step. So if you haven't done that, the left leg pulls, the right leg cross steps in front. Sequentially, yeah? So my left goes back onto the ball of the foot. My right drops forwards, flat foot. So it's this one, two, advancing slightly. So it's an advancing switch movement. One, two, this way. First move, straight thrust, midsection. Second move, I go one, two, cross step, and then I do a, an open palm strike high. Or just your shoulder height, it's fine, yeah? The arm, just your shoulder height. Thrust one, switch, strike or push. First two moves. Thrust one, switch step, palm. Straight thrust, switch, strike. Yes, yeah, so I'm moving in slightly. Static, advancing slightly. Third movement, I take a, another step forward, so I, my left leg comes forward. I'm going to take hold of the bat with two hands and smash high. So not, not following through, just strike and stop as you hit the head. Again, so from here, thrust one, switch left palm, step forwards, hold with two hands, right strike. And on this last strike, you can as well, make sure your front foot stays rooted. The back foot can be flat as well, or it can lift the heel a bit, heel a bit as well, if you want to. Thrust, switch palm, step strike. One. Thrust, two, switch step, the palm, three, step left, double handed, smash high. Let's go the other way. Orthodox, thrust the ball in, switch step, palm high, step, and hit. Body short, switch, open palm strike, step, Double hand. One, two, three. One follows the other. Yeah, advancing in. One, drive them away. Two, chase. Three, finish. Do it facing you as well. Thrust, switch, palm, step, strike. Orthodox, thrust one, switch, palm two, 
Take hold of both hands, step, hit hard. One, two, three. Last couple of times. Be precise. Into the body, into your opponent's torso. Switch. Push them away or strike. Take hold of both hands. Step, stable, hit. One, two, three. Right, left, double, divide. Right, so it's quite obvious what you're doing, but just in case it isn't, I mean, my God, I'm attacking my opponent by thrusting the bat into their body, yeah, with the tip, driving it in to do some damage. Yeah, if that doesn't work, then I'm going to do my switch step and then strike them away, and then finally step in and finish them off with a double-handed strike. So it's a straight thrust into the body, switch strike them away, step, finish them with the third. Yeah, or it could be, uh, for example, I could have thrown my initial strike and it, it might miss, or your opponent could uh, grab the weapon. So it's there and I do my switch step and then smash into the chest to release their grip. Or set my distance for the finishing strike. Yeah, so it's quite, it's quite versatile. Hit, even if I miss, I'd continue in, hit them with the second strike. Even if that misses, I continue in, hit them with the third. Yeah, so three consecutive hits, one should get through. Body somewhere, either head or chest, and then finally, headshot. One, two, three. Okay, so we're gonna drill that first combination now. The way we're going to do that is throw the combo and then move around a bit freely, throw it again, move around, keep repeating as much as you like. Uh, I'm obviously right-handed, so I hold the bat on my right, but if you're left-handed, by all means, flip it so it's more natural for you.
baseball bat combination too. Again, in your right hand, orthodox stance, left leg in front, guard is up. From here, I'm going to uh, defend with my lead hands. My, my, le my left hand's going to block with the forearm inwards this way. So defending inwards, cross my centre line. And I'm going to step my right leg forwards and swing the bat up. Okay, so it's going to be block one, step, attack up. So it's going to come from low all the way to high and then I slow it down over the shoulder. Here, yeah? defend one, step, strike up. So as I step forward, I just turn my right foot in slightly, toe in step. Defend high, step, strike up. Deflect left, step, strike upwards. And bring it into the shoulder. First two moves. Left defends, right counters. From here, I'm going to cross step my left leg behind and strike the legs. Big swinging motions. Defend with the forearm. Swing the bat up. Cross step through. Strike through knee height. Defend high. Swing up. Cross step behind. Swing low. First three movements. Block left one. Swing up two, cross step three, strike the leg. Just one more move. Here, yeah. defend high, strike up two, cross step, strike low three, and then finally I'm going to step my right leg out, and then I'm going to do a, I'm going to attack with my my left hand now. So big left swing, sinking on the. Right there. Here. Defend high. Swing the bat up. Sink low, low, low heights. Drop your level. Attack the legs. Step the right leg through, and then big, big weight shift and turning of the waist. Left swing. Yes, the bat's done its work, and I'm just going to. Finish with this swinging motion. Deflect left, right swings up. Cross step left, right swings out. Big step right, weight on the left leg. And then from there, weight shift onto the right leg. Lift your left heel, big swing punch. motion. So heel lifts, turn everything, sink down. Finish. Defend left, swing up, cross step left, swing low, step, swing high. The other way. Left legs in front, defend with your forearm, Step right, swing the bat up. Cross step behind, swing low. Step the right leg out, swing punch. Deflection, counter, counter, swing. Cover. Two, cross step, low swing. Three. Defend high, attack low to high, drop your level, attack the legs, and then swing. One more time that way. A bit more tricky this one. One, flat feet, step. Hit up. So I'm going to swing it up on a slight diagonal line so it comes over the shoulder, doesn't hit you in the head. So, you sort of, so it speeds up and then slows down as it comes over the shoulder. And then cross step this way and then release it. 
and step and swim. Defend, rise, drop, circle. Circle in, up, down, through. Left block, right left, right drop, swing. Facing you. Block left, right goes up. So this 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 angle, not 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 dead vertical, you need to cross the centre line. So it rests on the left shoulder, cross step behind, low strike, step, right swing. Defend left, rise with the right, through the knees, all the way through, doesn't stop, and then step, swing to finish. Block, rise, fall, circle. Last couple. Forearm block, rising strike, cross step. Release, circular motion. Okay, so again, I think these movements are fairly obvious, but just in case you're not sure, let's clarify the movement. Initial movement, I'm defending, yeah? So a punch is coming in high, or maybe a kick low, and I'm clearing the whole front region. Yeah, so I'm using my forearm to protect high, and then sweep low. It can be blocking a punch, blocking a kick, something like that. Clear the, the path in and then chase and strike up. And this could hit to the groin or the head or even knock knock a limb out of the way. It's quite versatile, yeah? So block one, attack, rising attack. Starts low all the way up to the head and then folds behind the shoulder. Defend, release. Then we chase in, so we cross step our left leg behind, and then we just release the bat, take the legs out. Yes, yeah, so we're just gonna, it's folded in here, and then we just release it, let the weight of the bat do the damage through the knees. Defend, rise, through the legs. And then finally we step our right leg forwards, and then we just do this big weight shifting, rotational swing. Like this. First movement just uses the arm, second one uses the weapon, third uses the weapon, fourth goes back to the free hand. So we're using both limbs. Defend high low, attack high, attack low, swing. And this this swing, so it could it could be kind of a, a hook punch, but we we in the sequence, we're, we're using it more as a kind of clothesline type takedown. Yeah, so I've attacked the legs, and then I'm going to swing with the whole arm, so it would hit into their neck or, or head or chest, and just take them off their feet. Yeah, so this might be enough through the legs, but if it's not, this is going to make sure they go down. Does that make sense? So I have my cover rising through the legs, they're still standing, big weight shift, all the way through the head or neck. And these, it's a, these are passing strikes or passing steps, so what I mean is, so say you're my opponent, defending, hitting through, but now I cross step, I'm going, I'm going slightly off the line, so that I, my, my left steps outside of my opponent, take the legs out. And my right leg passes my opponent, so my long side as I swing to take down. Defend, 
through the center. Now I pause, hit the legs. I pause again. Hit high. Here. Up. Legs. Head shot. Or take down, yeah? I would use it more as a take down. Here. Up. Down. Clothesline. As we did with the first combination, we're going to practice it now. So drill it until you've got it. The first rule of weapon training is don't lose your weapon. So that means don't get disarmed, or even worse, dropping the weapon on the floor because you weren't holding it firmly enough. But at the same time, as having that tight grip, we need to have a loose arm and a relaxed shoulder. Uh, if we're too tense, uh, we won't be able to exploit the weight of the weapon and deliver those full power strikes. We'll finish today's lesson by drilling those two combinations together. So move around freely for a couple of minutes, practicing the combos at your own pace. <laughs> 